welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new this is Tiffany with small town six and I have Zoe in my introduction because she was smacking her mouth together right next to me eating and begging to be in the video so I just went ahead and picked her up um, my chocolate lab Sadie is hiding she's afraid of the camera stand so <laughs> she's so silly but uh, today guys I am bringing you my monthly collab that I host it is a cleaning challenge cleaning decluttering organizing some sort of space in your house because you know if you're a homemaker if you have a house an apartment if you have any sort of property then you understand that there is always something to clean up there is always something to organize there is just always something every single day no matter what there's always something so I thought what better way than to host something where all the ladies or even men if they wanted to join in could share in some motivation for you guys so that's what we're doing today but I'm switching it up a little bit I've had this idea for a while um, you know I like to share budget friendly type of things with you guys when I come across them because I try to be budget friendly. Um, sometimes Amazon gets the best of me, but um, for the most part, I try to be budget friendly because life's expensive, especially these days. And um, I am sharing with you guys, um, you guys voted. So I was gonna either put decluttering up today or I was gonna put up some DIY cleaners. And that's what you guys voted on, the majority. So that's what won. So we're gonna do DIY cleaners. These are simple things, a lot of stuff you have. And then I'm gonna share some tips with some cleaners that I won't be making um, that are just things you might already have or just never thought of using. Because I have, you know, I, I've always loved cleaning. Honestly, I didn't love baking when I was growing up. I like to eat the food. So I do a lot of cooking on my channel. So it's kind of funny that I mostly do cooking and grocery hauls, but I've always loved cleaning. I don't know why, I just think it's a work, I, th I just find it to be relaxing if, and it gets rid of my anxiety if I, if I know I've checked off the certain amount of things to do. So, um, I don't like tons and tons of products. Yes, I use bleach in my house. I will say that because I get those grout lines and uh, my house isn't brand new. So yeah, I've got those grout lines. So I do use bleach, but I try not to use super strong stuff in my house because that's strong enough um, and the stuff messes with me, it gives me a headache. So I wanna share this stuff with you guys. Um, I'm gonna share what I have, what I bought and how you can make it yourself and then some other tips and tricks. And you guys don't forget when you get done watching my video, check out the group playlist, check out all the other ladies awesome videos and give them some love. And if you're new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you guys don't care, give me a big thumbs up and hit the notification bell. I'm gonna be announcing the giveaway for the clothing video um, that I did on lookbook haul with my girls. I'm gonna share the winner of that on my Sunday video. So, be waiting for that. But let's go ahead and get started guys. Okay, like I said, nothing fancy. I picked these up at the Dollar Tree. I really liked the, um, if you guys like the aesthetic look of things, I picked these up. Um, they were all obviously a dollar. Um, this was before the dollar twenty-five fee went into place in our area. That just started last week, so I picked these up. They had green and peach and clear, and like a pinkish tint. I just thought they were pretty, and I do have a Cricut maker. Um, I have a whole bunch of equipment now, guys. I'll, I'll be sharing some interesting stuff about that coming up, but I have yet to use it. So I am just going to use my label maker and label this. You don't have to do that. You could use just some old school labels from the Dollar Tree and just label those on there. You can use a dry erase marker. You can use whatever you guys want or don't even label them. But I get things mixed up so I will label these with just my old school label maker that I've had since before Cricut ever came out. So let's do that. I'm gonna go. So let me go and tell you. Um, one of the most used things in my house is just one of these old fashioned, been around forever. <laughs> Um, items. It's vinegar. I know it stinks. My husband despises the smell of vinegar in the house. Um, he's like, oh my gosh, can you use something else? So yes, I do. I use essential oils to make it smell better in the cleaners. So you don't have to have anything fancy. You don't have to have that Young Living stuff that costs a fortune. I just have stuff I get off Amazon. Like I get a whole pack. It's 100% essential oils and it's like maybe $9.99, something like that. And every now and then I used to do the diffuser thing when I was checking out like the popularity of it. I wasn't going to spend hundreds of dollars on that stuff, but I just wanted to, I like the way it smells fresh. Um, but I also have apple cider vinegar. I'm not going to use apple cider vinegar, but you can use this. I was going to tell you guys the benefits of, of vinegar. You can clean so many things 
with vinegar. You can do so many things with vinegar. Um, the health benefits of apple cider vinegar. It's unreal how important vinegar is in our life. And I drink this every single night. I know it sounds gross. I'll drink it right out of the bottle. Uh, most people dilute it. I don't. I drink it because it's got a lot of health benefits, but we'll get into that another day. So the vinegar is awesome and it's cheap. Like this is at Aldi's for a dollar something for this massive jug. So such a cheap, cheap thing to invest in. So I came up with different recipes. I'm like how can we tweak this because these aren't working? And I know I'm rambling here, but I finally came across one and this works perfect. So we also have these bottles. These are thicker, more durable. Um, they're a lot larger, but I just wanted to make the video pretty. So I'm using these pretty bottles. So what we need for this first one is a fourth of cup of vinegar. And I'll put this on the screen. Two cups of water, a teaspoon of like soap. Like I use Dawn or the generic Dawn. And then you need just like nine drops, however many you want, of essential oils. And this concoction makes the perfect glass cleaner. There's a ton of other recipes. There's one I used to use. Or there's one, you know, it's got a half a cup of vinegar, a half a cup of alcohol, like rubbing alcohol, um, a tablespoon of cornstarch, and then you can put essential oils in it. I haven't used that one, but that's another like homemade one where they use cornstarch in it. Fourth a cup of the vinegar. Like I said, if you want to double this, you can double that. Take a fourth a cup of vinegar, and then we're gonna take two cups of water. Two cups of water. And you won't be able to double them in these, obviously, because they're not quite as big as the other ones. So, but they work out perfect for this one recipe. So then we'll take a teaspoon of soap, just Dawn soap. Just gonna pour that in there. Or this is generic Dawn, like I said. So these are my essential oils. Like I said, this brand, I don't know if you can see that. It is Laguna Moon. So I can link these for you guys um, if you need essential oils that smell good and that are affordable. So I like the eucalyptus or tea tree. So I'm just gonna put about nine drops in there to mask the smell of that um, vinegar. And it works great. It masks that smell perfectly. <clears throat> I'm just gonna shake that. You gotta get that um, Dawn like soap mixed around really good. And there you have some really awesome glass cleaner. And look how cheap that was. So like I said, I don't, I'm, I'm not getting the Cricut and all that mess out. I've just got this old Dymo, um, label maker. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna make an all-purpose cleaner. This is all natural, non-toxic, you know. So I'm just gonna get the bottle out and um, if you can use, you know, I have refillable Lysol bottles, things like that, that I will use Lysol for things, but you don't have to. If you wanna make it non-toxic, I'm just showing you that today. So what we're gonna do is take three-fourths cup of water, and then we're gonna take three fourths a cup of vinegar. Once again, vinegar's playing a part in this. That's gonna be pretty stinky. So then we're gonna take 10 drops of oil. Okay, so I've got that. And then I'm just gonna put my lid on this one. And there is your non-toxic all-purpose cleaner. Vinegar will clean like dirt. It will clean things off of surfaces. It will make it non-toxic and clean. Um, but the problem with it is, is that it's not necessarily powerful enough to kill viruses or bacteria that cause things like MRSA and staph infections and stuff like that. Um, because it has to be able to kill 99.9% .9 of microbes within, you know, the designated time period. So it's, that's why it's not registered as a disinfectant, but um, it does clean surfaces. It does, you know, it's just a household product that you can clean with if you want something different. You know, you don't have to use bleach. Here's my other alternative. Um, I use 
this antibacterial like mr. clean if I need to clean the bathroom and I don't want to use bleach I will dilute this down because a little bit goes a long way in this stuff um, I will dilute some of this down in water and I will use it to clean with because I know it will take you know I know it's antibacterial but if I need to clean stuff like the table things like that chairs stuff I will use my all-purpose cleaner that is perfectly safe to use so just keep that in mind guys let me share this with you guys. This isn't a cleaner. This is a way to clean your sinks, not one you make. So to clean your drains, I don't know if you've ever done this before. We've tried so many different things because when we first moved into our house, it got backed up the very first day we were here. It was a nightmare. So the plumber came. He didn't fix it because we didn't have, you know, it was super expensive for him to look. He said, you know, keep your drains clean. My husband was able to get it fixed and all that. Long story short, he said, always keep your drains clean. Obviously, don't pour grease down them. Don't um, put anything harmful down them. Don't, don't, and he said, don't ever use that plumber stuff um, that you buy in the store. Because I was like, seriously, <laughs> pumping it full of that. So, one thing I found that works, I've been doing this for years, and it also, you can just do it periodically if, if your sink starts to stink. Um, this really works. So, you take baking soda. And you can buy huge bags of this because we use baking soda in our above ground pool also in the summer. You can buy humongous bags of that at Sam's for $7. Huge bags. I think it was $7 or $8. It's probably gone up now. But big bags. But, you know, baking soda is in the little box. You don't need anything major for this. But we always have baking soda on hand for so many other purposes such as cleaning your stovetop. But what you can do is take a half a cup of baking soda. Just like kind of put that in your drain. And I know that sounds crazy if you've never done it. You pour half a cup of baking soda in your drain. You let it sit there for a while. I let it sit for like 10 minutes. And just kind of like soak up in there. Don't pour any water down it. Just let it sit. Then, with you know the chemical reaction of this, pour half a cup of vinegar down your drain. It will fizz completely up like a volcano. But it will unclog naturally stuff that's stuck in there and i'm not saying if your drain is clogged up and it's like backed all the way up and there's roots in it or something that's going to fix that it's not this is a preventative measure and my mom's been doing it forever um she knew about it and i don't know if a plumber even told her i was doing it didn't know my mom was talking about it randomly one day and i said yeah we do that so this is something i've done for years and it works and it's cheap and it's free and it's disgusting Sometimes it comes up, but it really does make your drain smell better and it clears that. It kind of like just eats that nastiness in there. Um, so I highly recommend that. I will link the, you know, it's a half a cup of vinegar and a half cup of baking soda, but you let it sit for a while and then you can, you can wash it down after that. But that is a tip. I'm going to show you something else. We'll make some more cleaners too. I'm going to show you the really awesome, um, thing that you already have in your house you don't even know you have it's a cleaner and you guys are going to be mind blown if you've never used this because my friends thought i was nuts okay is anybody else's refrigerator completely nasty i have four kids so it's constant you know why use the handle when we can use the whole outside of it and smudge it up i've already cleaned it today and you can't see it right now because it probably looks decent on camera because ham cameras hide lots of flaws but this thing is nasty i want to show you what you can use and I don't recommend using this all the time because you can use I, you can use that glass cleaner that I shared with you the recipe. But if you if you haven't done it in a while, um, I do periodically do this, and I used to do it daily, but it gets a little bit too much um, stuff built up on there for my type of fridge. Um, but like this, let me show you. This is crazy. So if you have olive oil on hand, olive oil will clean your fridge. And yeah, I got this at Sam's, this huge jug, because it's way cheaper. I don't know if it's like six bucks there for this massive thing. I feel like Sam's should be giving me some like um, benefits here because I always mention them. But um, pick you up some olive oil. I cook with it constantly. That is one of the reasons I go to Sam's is to get that. But let's show you. We're going to take a rag, or I mean, uh, just a tissue. It just has to, you know, you can use a microfiber cloth, but I prefer just to use a paper towel. We're gonna rub some olive oil on this. It olive oil on this. It will take out the smudges and it will kind of coat your refrigerator. I know that sounds crazy. Um, I learned this years and years ago when I would like buy every type of when I got this fridge. When I would buy every type of cleaner possible, nothing worked. And I researched and researched, and I was like, olive oil. Yeah, right. I saw that in some article, and it worked. 
it was amazing what it does to your fridge but on a daily basis i like to clean it with just my glass cleaner that i've created but if you want a nice like polish it up take the smudges really good off there if it's really caked on olive oil will be your best friend so i'm going to show you see i've got some olive oil there's no set amount i'm just going to pour some into my rag and then you just rub i just rub in a circular motion and it polishes it right up i know it's crazy it doesn't leave a bunch of nasty stuff now if you do it constantly like every day multiple times a day or something yeah it's going to leave a little bit of that stuff on there because it is an oil but it's different i don't know if you can see that it's polishing it up it's taking all those marks right off as i do it i feel like i'm in an infomercial here but it's crazy i should have shown you guys the before of all this close-up of what it looks like i'm sorry i keep pouring because i'm about out of olive oil but yeah, this is my like every now and then magical cleaner. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that. And maybe some of you have, I don't know. Okay, now I'm gonna show you something that I don't make myself. You can make your stovetop cleaner yourself, but I found this product and I love it. You can make it yourself with, um, for your stovetop, you can use hydrogen peroxide, you can use Dawn baking soda and vinegar and create this like paste and put it on there and do that if you guys are all about the non-toxic stuff. Um, but this Barkeeper's Friend, I've seen it for years. I have the powder form. So I have the powder form, but it's messy and it gets all over the place, which is kind of like the what the all natural like stuff you would make yourself is. Like I said, I can link that if you guys want that recipe to do yourself, it's easy. Um, but I prefer this, they have the gel. Um, of the barkeeper's friend and this stuff is amazing so what i say if you need to clean your stove um, i don't do it all the time like the top of your stove if you don't have like a gas one um, because i get nasty stuff caked on i want to show you guys look at that disgusting it shines it all up makes it all pretty and takes all that gunk off Okay guys, next cleaner that I have, this, this is from the dollar store. This is heavy duty oven cleaner. It's not like the easy off stuff. It's just generic. Um, no, we're not using this for the oven. And I'm not going to show you guys this today because this stuff stinks. I'm not going to say this is all natural and non-toxic. This stuff stinks to high heavens. But let me tell you about my shower. We bought our house. Um, and we don't have the funds like extra funds when you have four kids to go in and just gut your bathrooms and do that because oh my gosh that's so expensive i'd rather gut a kitchen than gut a bathroom so the um, shower was stained permanently stained and i was like oh my gosh i've tried for years and years and years to get this stuff off i've tried every type of bleach product there is i've tried every type of um all natural cleaner every type of heavy duty cleaner everything and I was cleaning the oven with this stinky stuff. And I think I was looking it up. And somebody said, you can use it on your shower. And I was like, yeah, right. That's not going to work. It's just stink. Um, so I, I have tried the toilet bowl cleaner even in my shower to try to get it up. And it will work pretty good. But it will burn the crap out of your hands. So I do not, do not ever touch like Lysol toilet bowl cleaner. Ever. That gel stuff. Because it will burn your skin off. Like it will burn it. Um, but I learned the hard way. But anyway, back to this. I was like, I need to find a way to clean that shower. It's disgusting. I mean, because you could see it. And it wasn't from anything we had done. It's just from years of it just being, like, stained. It was almost like it was supposed to be a white shower, but it had, like, a yellow tint. I let this sit. I sprayed it down all the way with this nasty stuff. And I turned the vent on, and it stinks to high heavens. I will tell you, this stuff absolutely stinks. I did wear a mask. Uh, to go in there because masks are you know um, available these days so i used the mask and i cleaned the shower i scrubbed it i even used a magic eraser and scrubbed it and it's never looked like that before like it took years of the nasty like color discoloration off of it it didn't strip it it just took it off it took it back to its original color so you guys if you are hard pressed for a way to clean your shower, and, and I'm telling you, this sounds insane, um, 
don't go the way that I did with the toilet bowl cleaner because I was tired of trying the regular cleaners. I thought, well, it cleans the toilets. I'm going to try it in the shower. Don't do that. If you want to put a little strip of it on like your grout line, you can try it that way. Don't, don't clean your whole shower with it. It will burn your skin off. Um, but the oven cleaner, try this. Give it a try. Um, I'm, I'm just blown away by the results that I have. And I wish I could share that with you guys though. But I did not feel like showing you guys my gross bathroom that day when I did it. Um, so I didn't do it. But I was blown away. Like I showed everybody in the house. I'm like, have you seen the shower look like this? So all I did was spray it down with that use magic eraser cleaned it it works wonders now it does take some scrubbing some scrubbing effort you can use a magic eraser you can use the scrub brush whatever you need but it really took the the coat back down okay for cleaning fruits for cleaning vegetables i've shared this before on my meal prep videos but if you guys have never seen me do that before i do not buy the overpriced overrated thief stuff great if you guys do i can't afford to buy chemical like stuff like that that's all natural when i already have something at home that's all natural i have vinegar vinegar will pull all that nasty stuff off and maybe if i can find a clip i'll insert it um i would love to show you guys next time i go and get strawberries i will show you the after i just pour a couple capfuls of this into a huge bowl like if i've got one of the huge bowls of the fruit i let it soak whatever whatever fruits whatever vegetables i need to clean i will soak it in the vinegar and no your vegetables and your fruits will not pick up pick up the vinegar taste if anything with like the fruit with like the strawberries it almost pulls the flavor out of it so it does not give it a vinegar taste because trust me i do not like the taste of this um so i highly recommend it try washing your fruits and vegetables don't leave it for a long time because you don't you know i don't I only leave it for like three minutes in there two minutes three minutes so it doesn't take that long but with your strawberries then you can just drain them and you will see the after of what it leaves is nasty i mean it really pulls the nasty stuff off there so yes use vinegar when you wash your fruits and vegetables you don't have to buy expensive fruit and, and veggie cleaners or whatever that stuff is in the store you don't have to go on and buy the thieves cleaner off of young living more power to if you guys sell that or you guys buy it but you can buy this for like a dollar something at aldi's and it works wonders i've been using it for years to clean my fruits and vegetables so okay so my favorite thing to use in cleaning when we were selling our house um, years ago this is like eight nine years ago um, I had to get every inch I felt and I was pregnant so I was nesting I had to get every inch of it clean so I bought these almost in like bulk because these are magical little wonders but I don't buy the magic eraser brand because they're way more expensive these work just the same they actually sell them in a three pack now at the Dollar Tree but if you need to clean your shower if you need to clean the white like your white shoes like the bottoms of like your vans or whatever or whatever type of shoes these are perfect just wet it a little bit and it cleans it you can clean anything it, but be careful if you're cleaning on painted surfaces you can use it for a little bit but a little bit goes a long way because you will end up scrubbing the paint off i've done it because i've scrubbed so hard before um, with paint but i highly recommend these if you've never bought them they are wonderful. Like I've promoted these for years to everybody. I love these things. Another tip, when you're vacuuming, um, if, you, if your vacuum has like a doggy smell, like if it's old school and it has like a doggy smell um, and you're vacuuming, you can't stand that smell. Like if you have pets, it has that smell. Or even if your vacuum just starts to smell weird. Um, if you want your house to smell really, really good, you can put this on the filter. Just put a few drops of like, the essential oils that's another use for them you can put a few drops on there pop it back into your vacuum works wonders smells great makes your house smell great you can smell it the whole time you're vacuuming instead of that nasty dog smell because i have two dogs so i'm sharing that with you um i learned that years ago and it really does work and it doesn't you know it doesn't affect your filter at all so there's another tip that's something else i want to share with you guys um vinegar back on the vinegar kick another thing about vinegar if you need to clean your keurig if you need to clean your like i have a ninja coffee machine and espresso and all that i don't know about the nespresso i've never tried it yet but your ninja your keurig your regular coffee machine like i will get my warning on my coffee maker telling me you need to clean this and then it will deposit nastiness into my coffee if i don't so I do not go for the descaling solutions that you purchase because they're pricey. I, I fell for that, I think, one time, and it didn't work. 
I had to buy more and it didn't work. And I was like, you know what, I'm done with this. Um, so an alternative is make your own descaling solution. It's vinegar. Um, so like this is the Ninja canister. So when we have to do a full clean, like when we have to do a clean cycle, um, you have to fill, well, you're supposed to fill it with water to here. I will fill it with water to here and I will put vinegar in the rest. I put like a cup of vinegar in. Now they say if you have a regular coffee maker to put four cups of vinegar in it and flush it through and run it on a cycle like three times. I don't do that. That's just what the internet says. That's a heck of a lot of vinegar. Um, like I said, I will cycle it through with the vinegar on the clean setting. I will put some of the vinegar in there. Maybe not even a cup, maybe a cup. I don't know. Um, and I will let it just cycle through and with the water and it cleans it, it purifies it. Then you flush it with the water um, on its second cycle that it needs to be flushed and it cleans it. It takes all that nasty residue or buildup that's in there. And it's only, like I said, you can use this for so many things. Okay guys, another tip, another trick. If you have a pan and you have a caked on mess, like nasty in the bottom of your bakeware, don't keep scrubbing, soaking, doing all that. Take your baking soda, pour some on it, and then take your dishcloth and let it soak with a little bit of water on it, with some water in it, and let it just soak. If you have to let it soak for like a couple hours, let it soak like that. It will pull the nasty off of it. Baking soda is used in so many like effective ways to clean stuff. It's, it's incredible how this works. So I highly recommend it. If you have a stubborn stain, like my husband, um, he had a great big pot thing of, it was stainless and it had all the stuff kicked on it. He could not get it. He scrubbed and he scrubbed and he scrubbed this huge thing and it had burnt like on the bottom where he was making stuff. So um, I scrubbed it, scrubbed it, took a magic razor. I said, let's stop, let's quit scrubbing this. Let me get some baking soda. I let the baking soda soak overnight with a little bit of water in it. I didn't put the washcloth on it. Came back, used the little scrubber. It pulled almost all of it off of there. I need to do some more because um, I just honestly didn't have time to finish. But baking soda is awesome at pulling stubborn caked on stuff off of your pots and pans. Another thing I learned when I worked in a restaurant years ago was um, how we would clean our coffee pots because they were nasty. You're using them all day long, coffee pots. When people want coffee and it leaves those burn on stains in it, that's nasty. Lemon juice or lemons. Let it soak with some water and some lemon juice and it will pull that stain. I still to this day, like when my um, craft thing gets nasty, like this, this carafe here, you can't see it on the outside, obviously, but it's got nasty burn on cake stuff in there. Sometimes I'll use baking soda and let it sit, or otherwise I'll use a concoction of the lemon juice and the water and it will help pull that stuff out of there because it gets burnt on and nasty. But the clear glass ones, if you have like a bun coffee maker, it will help with the staining. It will help pull that off. So lemon juice is awesome too. Um, sometimes I pour lemon juice down the drains just to make it smell better and flush the um, garbage disposal. It just makes it smell better. I wanted to show you an oven, or not an oven cleaner, I wanted to show you a shower cleaner. You can mix the equal amounts of Dawn and the equal amounts of vinegar. You can warm up the Dawn or vinegar if you want to, to make it come off easier um, when you're using the cleaner. I don't have the little handheld scrubby brushes, so we're gonna use just one of these bottles and fill it up with six ounces of Dawn and six ounces of vinegar, and we're gonna kinda like shake that and that is the most magical little shower cleaner. I mean, for an everyday type of use. This is called a daily shower cleaner and it's all natural, non-toxic. Dawn is awesome too. Dawn will take all kinds of stains out. Like if I drop like stuff on to a shirt, I will use some Dawn immediately and start scrubbing with the Dawn because Dawn is phenomenal, it stains. Um, but I don't have Dawn, I've got the Radiance kind. So we're gonna put six ounces of Dawn or generic Dawn into the bottle. Let's do so I've got measuring tool here. Let's pour it. Got six ounces right there. I'm gonna use my little funnel thing again. I'm gonna pour the vinegar straight down in the bottle. Then we are going to take the Dawn and pour six ounces. 
And because I don't want to get Dawn all stuck into this and lose half of it, I'm just going to get this little food scale that I have that was sent to me. Um, I'm just going to use it so I can tell how much ounces I'm putting in there because we just need six. Okay, we went like a point something over, but that's okay. We'll just put another drop of vinegar in. So, there is that. And like I said, give this a shake. And like I said, you could warm this up before you mix it. This stuff's incredible. If you have the little scrubber brushes at Dollar Tree, you can pick up that have like the little green looking scrubber on the end and you can fill this solution into it and just scrub your shower down after you use it. It will keep it from caking up. Otherwise, you can just take like a rag or a sponge or an magic eraser. You just keep that in your shower and wipe it down after your shower or just spray it on your shower. And, and you know, you don't have to use a scrubber if you're doing it daily. You could just spray this all over the shower and then spray it off. And this stuff just keeps your shower clean. It's awesome. Okay, guys, next thing we're going to do, you can make a fabric spray um, with some fabric softener and some water and some other stuff. I've done it before. Um, but some people have like allergies and they don't want to do that. So we're going to do a non-toxic one for those that have a lot of allergies. And this is easy too. We're going to take one and a half cups of water and we're going to pour that in here. Kind of, this is kind of like those Febreze sprays and you can use, like I said, if you want to know how to make the fabric softener kind, I can tell you it's super easy also. Um, then we're going to take something called witch hazel. Um, I have witch hazel on hand. It's super cheap. You can get it at Walmart or any of those other stores. It's used for different, you know, all kinds of stuff. It doesn't smell the best, but you can use it for all kinds of things, um, for irritated skin, stuff like that. Or like after, I know it sounds gross, but after um, women have babies, a lot of times you'll have to use witch hazel because it's an all natural thing. Um, so half a cup of the of the witch hazel you can get unscented or you can use cheap vodka it says or white vinegar whatever you want to use i'm just using witch hazel because i've had that for a while and i need to use it and then we're going to add um one to two tablespoons of baking soda it just helps add with the freshness it's optional but we will add it because why not make our house smell fresh so let's do that add a couple tablespoons of that and like I said, you guys can use vinegar, you can use witch hazel, whatever you guys want to do. You can use vodka if you want to. Vodka is one of those things people use for cleaning also. Um, I don't. I despise the smell of it. I cannot, like, for the life of me, I'll never, ever, ever smell that stuff again. It makes me sick. But more power to you if you can handle that um, for cleaning. And we're clumping up. There we go. So then we're going to use um, 20 to 30 drops of essential oils you can use tea tree oil you can use orange lemon lavender you know whatever you want um it's funny when i used to make these i didn't have essential oils and i was like i need to get something because all these things call for it um so let's see i don't have any lavender i have lots of tea tree oil i have christmas scents we don't need that um we've got peppermint peppermint's a good scent too oh i do have orange so i've got orange so let's put some orange in because orange smells fresh. So 10 to 20. I'm going to go with 20 because that witch hazel is pretty strong. And it's so slow to drop these in here. Can you see that? And then we're just going to put the lid on. Now it's got the essential oils in there. And it's going to mix all that together. So I will tell you another thing about baking soda. If you have a stain, like something nasty, something gross, if your kid throws up or your dog throws up, you can use baking soda to help absorb that and absorb the smell in your carpet or, you know, it will help take that out because it helps absorb that. I know it sounds nasty, but it works. It works wonders um, because, you know, we have four kids and we have two dogs, so we've been there. So baking soda, I highly recommend to always have on hand for whether you bake or whether you have um, kids or whether you have animals or something, or you just need to clean because bake, uh, baking soda has come in handy so many times. Okay, guys, another um, little tip. Um, this is some brand, Pink Zebra. This is some brand of those little like smell good wax thingies. It smells great. You can do your own 
at home. You don't have to buy all the wax cubes. You don't have to buy all that stuff. You can buy those downy, um, is it unstoppables or even the generic ones, and you can put them in your wax burner. And it will smell, you know, obviously like whatever the smell that is. I've used it many a times. I didn't actually buy it for my laundry because Emily has like a little bit of sensitivity to stuff. So I didn't use it so much on that. I have in the past. Stuff gets expensive, but I used it in my wax burner. I just stick it in the top part. Of it. So like this, you would just pour, like let's pretend these are, I don't have any on hand because I'm out of them. Um, you would just pour them on the top of that and plug it in like normal and you could have the, um, Downy Unstoppables smell up your house. It smells really, really good. It's almost overpowering. I used to do that. I did that for years. I would buy those and pour them in there. And then my husband was like, why does the house smell like laundry? They've, that was a long time ago because they've come out with so many other scents now. But that was another thing. Also, if you're vacuuming, another tip, guys. I know I'm full of these things. I should make multiple videos on this. If you're vacuuming and you have animals, you don't have to buy the fancy... Um, boxes of carpet stuff. Plus, I don't know what's in those boxes all the time. But you can put some baking soda on your carpet and vacuum it up. You can put some baking soda on your sheets and vacuum them up. Um, it works absolute wonders for laundry to freshen your laundry when you're doing the um, doing towels. You can add vinegar to them to take that nasty mildew smell out of them. Do not add fabric softener in it. but You can put vinegar in and run a cycle with vinegar. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it gave you some easy ideas to make your own DIY cleaners that are non-toxic. I know I shared a couple things that were kind of nasty, like toxic, like the oven cleaner and, you know, not necessarily the barkeeper stuff, but it was just, you know, not homemade. But I just wanted to share with you guys some, some cleaning life hacks, I guess you could call it. If you guys like this content, comment down below. Tell me, and I would love to share all kinds of other little tips with you guys. Not necessarily for cleaning, but on life in general. I mean, we always come across fun life hacks. Emily loves life hacks. But I appreciate you guys watching. I love you all. Um, I will link the um, ingredients down below for how you can make your own cleaners. And if you guys end up doing this or you have done this before, let me know how it goes. I will tell you, this is the best recipe for glass cleaner I've ever used. So, um, and if you guys get to Dollar Tree, you don't have to make this bottle. I would get the little scrubber brush because it's so convenient to have just to clip into your shower. But I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to check out the group playlist. Check out all the ladies cleaning, organizing, decluttering videos and give them some love. And don't forget to hit the notification bell, guys. And I will see you in my next video, which will be up on Sunday at, I think, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I love you guys. And if you guys are new, I wanted to tell you, I put videos up every Tuesday, every Sunday. Wait, I missed that. Every <laughs> Tuesday, every Friday, and every Sunday. Um, not always on Friday, but usually. I call them bonus Fridays. But I will always have videos on Tuesdays and always on Sundays. But... Appreciate you guys. Love you all. Have an awesome day. See you later.